Hello, and welcome to the February CTR Coding Break. I'm Patricia Fordham, Quality Consultant for Registry Partners Incorporated. Before I get started talking about the topic of discussion, I first want to say you all are an amazing group of individuals and wear many hats working in the cancer registry. You have chosen a unique profession of gathering oncology data, with that data being used by your facility administration and cancer committee, state central registry, NCDB, SEER, and researchers with the end goal of improving the cancer care and tra- treatment patients face every day when being diagnosed with cancer. The hope of being one day to cure cancer or for patients to li- live longer with a diagnosis of cancer. As registrars in the profession of being a CTR, it's our duty to follow the manuals as written by the standard setters. We might not agree with how some instructions for some fields are written or find those instructions confusing, but we still have an obligation to follow them. This brings me to my topic of discussion for this month's coding break. Prostate abstracting, AJCC clinical T, SEER summary, and SEER EOD primary tumor. The objectives of this CTR coding break are to correctly assign AJCC clinical T, X versus clinical T blank, the discussion of a digital rectal exam and findings, assigning AJCC clinical stage group, encoding SEER summary and SEER EOD. Prostate carcinoma usually arises near the surface of the gland where it may be felt by a doctor during a digital rectal exam. For the most part, in order to assign clinical T for prostate cases, information from a DRE must have been performed. This rule also applies to clinical T1A or clinical T1B. If a patient has a grade group 5, clinically a stage group can be assigned without having DRE information. Prostate AJCC prognostic stage groups indicate when T is any and the grade group is 5, grade group 3C is assigned. Any T would include clinical T1 through clinical T4, clinical TX, and clinical T blank. Imaging results or biopsy laterality are not to be used to assign a clinical T. Even though we're seeing MRIs being performed more frequently, AJCC still instructs us that imaging information is not used for the assignment of clinical T. When a physician performs a digital rectal exam, the index finger is inserted into the rectum. The physician then swipes his finger back and forth, filling the prostate for any abnormalities, apparent or inapparent. A digital rectal exam can detect findings in the posterior and lateral aspect of the gland and checks for size, firmness, and texture of the prostate, hard areas, lumps, or growths spreading beyond the prostate, or pain caused by touching or pressing the prostate. Moving bottom left to right, the illustration shows a normal prostate, a prostate with a palpable nodule in the right lobe, a prostate with BPH and some abnormality, possibly cancer-related, and then moving top right to left, the illustration shows an enlarged prostate indicative of BPH, an enlarged prostate with hard nodule below right of base extending across the midline and asymmetry at the right base indicating possible cancer. And an enlarged hard irregular surface with seminal vesicle involvement and indicating cancer. Prostate clinical TX is assigned when information is unknown by the physician. The physician is unable to palpate the prostate a digital rectal exam not performed, a patient refuses a digital rectal exam. 
prostate clinical T blank is used when registrar doesn't know if a digital rectal exam was performed or if the patient presents to the reporting facility and the note states a DRE was performed, but the results of the DRE are not stated. Let's look at a couple of case examples. Patient presents with elevated PSA. On digital rectal exam, the physician documents that it is difficult to palpate the prostate due to body habitus. No lymph nodes are found on physical exam, and the prostate biopsy is performed with a finding of a Gleason 4 plus 5 equals 9 in multiple lobes. HACC clinical stage would be assigned as clinical TX, clinical M0, clinical M0, and clinical stage group 3C. Because we have a grade group of five and clinical TX, the clinical stage group can be assigned. Remember, TX and T blank would be considered as any two. Case example two. Patient presents with elevated PSA. On DRE, the physician documents that it is difficult to palpate the prostate due to body habitus. No palpable lymph nodes are noted on physical exam, and a prostate biopsy is performed with findings of a Gleason 3 plus 3 equals 6 in multiple lobes. AJCC clinical stage would be assigned as clinical TX, clinical M0, and clinical M0 with a clinical stage group of 99. Because we have a Gleason score of 6 and the DRE was a, unable to be performed, a clinical stage group must be assigned as 99. Case example number 3, when a clinical T blank is assigned. Patient presents with elevated PSA. Her notes, a DRE was performed, but results not documented in the medical record. Physical exam is unremarkable for lymphadenopathy or signs of metastatic disease. Clinical T would be left blank. Clinical N would be assigned as zero. Clinical M would be assigned as zero. And the clinical stage group would be coded as 99. Just as a side note, when reviewing prostate chapter 58, Per Donna Gress, the note underneath AJCC prognostic stage groups was written to be used by physicians. And as registrars, we are not to use that information and code as such. As with AJCC, clinical T staging, imaging is not used to determine clinical extension when coding SEER summary. Per SEER summary prostate note five, Imaging is not used to determine clinical extension. If a physician incorporates imaging findings into their evaluation, do not use this information. A physician assignment of extended of disease can be used by the registrar when there is no information from the digital rectal exam. Code one localized can be assigned when the digital rectal exam result is not documented or DRE not done and there is no evidence of extra prostatic extension. An example of assigning code one, the DRE reveals prostate is firm and the physician stages the patient as a clinical T2A. As with AJCC clinical T staging, imaging is not used to determine EOD primary tumor code. Unlike AJCC, a code can be assigned if there is no digital rectal exam information. If imaging is being incorporated by a physician into their evaluation, do not use this information. It's important to refer to all instructions, notes, and examples when assigning AJCC data values and groups and coding SEER and SEER EOD. I hope you find today's CTR coding break helpful. Don't be afraid to reach out to your physicians for further clarification if possible. If reaching out to a physician isn't possible, 
submit a question on the cancer form. If the answer you receive still isn't clear, let the respondent know, and hopefully he or she can provide further clarification. Thank you for taking time out of your busy day and listening to this month's CTR coding break.